Hello everyone, Nightwolf Menace here bringing you a review video of the new unit Saichi Sugimoto from the Golden Kamuyuka Lab Banner Crossover. He is a fire elemental attacker unit available right now until October 3rd, and without any further delay, let's get right into it. Starting off with his stats, Sugimoto's HP sits at 6,280 at base, and 7,232 when max enhanced. His attack sits at 6,420 at base, and 2,793 when max enhanced. And finally, his defense sits at 2120 at base and 2448 when max enhanced. Moving along to his equipment selection, right out of the gate, Sugimoto starts off with a 5 star physical attack slot, a 3 star or 5 star physical attack slot when max limit broken, and a 2 star or 5 star defensive slot when max limit broken. Sugimoto can get up to 1000 extra attack and 500 extra defense stats with max enhance non relic equipment which is not bad going over his skill rifle shot it has a 10 second cooldown timer with a 1000 break power it deals 1800 percent fire physical damage and increases his own art gauge by eight now 10 seconds is on the long side for a skill cooldown time and thus makes the eight art gauge increase when he activates his skill not as beneficial as it could be his skill damage modifier is 2500% and provides 10 arts gauge as well as a 1200 break power over on the JP side. Moving along to Sugimoto's arts, front offensive, it deals 2300 break power and deals 13,000% fire physical damage while also reducing the enemy's attack by 40% for 10 seconds. It's definitely useful to reduce the enemy's damage output, especially on their arts attacks. His arts damage modifier is actually 15,000% and the attack power debuff is 60% for 12 seconds over on the JP side with a break power of 2,500. Finally, we'll take a look at Sugimoto's true arts, which is known as Show Me Hell. It has a break power of 3,000 and deals 27,000% fire physical damage. It has a likely chance to faint the enemy and increases his own crit damage by 100% for 12 seconds. Now, Sugimoto is the third fainter to come to global alongside Zeorg and Rackstrom, which is really good. His true arts damage modifier is actually 32,000%, and his crit buff lasts for 15 seconds, up from 12 seconds over on the JP side, with the break power being 3,200. Now, when you crit an enemy, you bypass all their defenses and do a bonus 25% damage, and Sugimoto's true arts takes that damage you would have dealt during the normal critical and doubles it which results in huge damage i'll go over how i obtain this fact later on in the video so we're going to start off by talking about his abilities now which his first one being poison resistance level five and increases his poison time reduction rate by 50 percent increases his poison evasion rate by 50 percent basically meaning if poison has a 50 percent chance of not hitting you and if it does it uh, cooldowns, it comes off of you 50% faster, which is not bad. His next ability is Critical Rate Level 1, which increases his own Critical Rate by 10%. Also not bad, being that you want as much Critical Rate as possible on Sugimoto to reliably take advantage of that crit damage buff that he has. And finally, his last ability is Sugimoto Their Mortal. This unlocks at level 90 and allows him to revive what maximum HP and arts gauge. It also increases his arts damage by 50% and his critical rate by 100%. It's really good to use with his true arts for that 100% crit rate as well as the 50% arts bonus damage. However, it won't really be applied too much in PvE as you won't really see this effect prior if you have decent units to heal and defend as Sugimoto won't die. This ability does, however, make him a monster in the arena as you will proc the effect a lot more over there, just about instantly nuking the enemy team. So before I get into Sugimoto's equipment recommendation, I want to show you all how I was able to determine that Sugimoto's 100% crit damage buff from his true art actually doubles his damage output rather than just increasing the damage multiplier from a, from a crit from 25% to 50%. Some people were confused as to how he actually works, so for this test we will be doing the Tragic Reunion mission with the Living Barrier Eid boss fight. Now, 
The Living Barrier Eid has a neutral element, so I don't have to factor in any elemental weaknesses or resist for this test. And since crit bypass all defense, it doesn't matter how much defense Living Barrier Eid actually has. We're going to use the Holy Spear Dendron on Sugimoto, as it only has a one-hit animation, making it easy to see the damage. And we're also using Mako to feed Sugimoto a Relic Lesser Demon Heart for Arts Gen, as well as Rayon to provide Sugimoto a 100% crit rate buff with our multi abrasives. I will be showing the damage formula on screen so you can follow along. If you're interested in taking a deeper look as to how damage is calculated, I will leave a link to Reddit user Cyprogen's post down in the description box below. So let's get right into this battle. Now, my Sugimoto has 3,793 attack, which is going to be used in this formula, and the Holy Tree Spear Dendron has a damage modifier of 2,500%. Our first test is going to show the damage the Holy Tree Spear Dendron uh, does on a crit towards Eid, and if our formula is right, Sugimoto should deal 11,377 damage with the Dendron. So, let's get that going. Let's pop a multi braces on him right now, and then pop the Dendron. As you see, 11,377 damage was actually done to him right there. So now, for our next test, we will activate Sugimoto's True Arts for the 100% crit damage buff. Now, if Sugimoto's crit damage buff increased the crit multiplier from 25% to 50% like some people claimed, then Sugimoto will deal 13,652 damage with the Dendron. However, as you will see shortly, that is not the case. Sugimoto's True Arts 100% crit damage buff actually doubles your damage output so that 11,377 damage that we saw previously with the Dendron on a normal crit without his buff should actually become 22,754. So let's get that started. So let's activate his True Arts and pop a multi his Bracer. Let's get this animation out the way and now we'll pop the Dendron. 22,754 as you saw right there and I'm going to die so I'm just going to quit this out <laughs> but as you saw it actually doubles his damage I'll put 22,754 we was right about that so now we're going to go over Hiji, uh, Sugimoto's equipment recommendations so let's get right into it so what you're going to want is two Hijikata's guns for crit rate and crit damage buff and Senketsu for the 10% crit damage buff ability. I'm actually not 100% sure whether or not the Hijikata's guns crit rate and damage buff actually stacks with each other for 100% crit rate and 30% crit damage buff when used at the same time. However, if it turns out that their buffs do not stack, you can just use them one at a time or swap one of, swap one of the guns out for either F Carrier from Fen's event or the katana from the Golden Kami Equipment Summons to provide Sugimoto with some arts regen. Overall, Sugimoto is actually a pretty decent unit, but not a meta-breaking or defining unit by any means. His main strengths make it to where he has a chance to feint the enemy with, with his true arts, and he can reduce his enemy's attack percentages. He also shines really, really well in the arena. However, He's heavily reliant on dying to bring out his potential, which really comes into play in PvE, and he also has no reliable art sustain. That's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down in the comment section below, and hopefully you learned something from the Omotu Man Sugimoto. I will catch you guys later, and see you all in the next one. Peace!